It was the winter of 2002. Now, how can I be so sure of that date? Well, we moved into this facility for the very first time in June of that year. Winter, this place was starting to take shape. You could see it was a sanctuary. You could see how the facility was going to work. I was standing right over there and I began to cry. I began to cry because it was the first time that it really hit me that we were building something that was going to outlive me. That there'd be a time when I would have to give this to someone else. And that thought broke my heart. Well, as it happens, that time has come. I'm announcing to you today that 2023 will be my last year as a senior pastor of Brentwood Baptist Church. Now, the trustees and I have been working on this for several months. Understand, this is my initiative. I started the conversation with the trustees. No one has forced me to say anything. No one has suggested I do anything. This is simply my next step. Why? Because no one loves you more than I do. It's just time. You need a new voice. And you know, it's time for me to do something else. More than anything these last few years, I have loved working with our campus pastors. It's time for me to do that throughout Middle Tennessee. So in January of 2024, I will become the executive director of the Engaged Church Network. This is an exciting time for our church. I can see where we're going. I can see what has to happen. I'm just not the guy to get us there. I've been confirmed in this, in my prayer time, in my conversation with other leaders. You're ready. The future is ready. Now, we're gonna spend some time celebrating the past, but we're not gonna spend a whole lot of time there. There's a future ahead for us that God is opening up now, and I can't wait to get to it. No one loves you more than I do, and I can't wait to see what God is gonna unfold for us in the months and years ahead. Hey, church family, Mike's right. There are milestones, significant moments in your life that you remember. For me, for us as trustees, one of those is this opportunity we've had to walk alongside Mike, to hear his heart, to hear how the Lord has confirmed the timing of this transition for him. One thing we've also experienced firsthand through that is his love for you, his love for this church. And it is out of that that we know that this is an appointed time. And so while we're sad to see this transition in some ways, we're also a little selfishly happy that he's not going too far. When you think about the work God's called us to do through the Engaged Church Network, to take what is unique about the giftings and the callings of Brentwood Baptist and expand it and grow it in a, in a different and unique way, Mike's the perfect person to cast vision and provide leadership to the Engaged Church Network. We know at this time, there are some natural questions you may have. So there are a few things we want you to know. First, it's out of a position of strength and health that this is the right time for Brentwood Baptist. We've confirmed the Lord is in this. And so we look forward to being able to even in a greater way, engage the whole person with the whole gospel of Jesus Christ, anywhere, anytime, with anybody. We think when we look back, on the 30 years that this church has just experienced in the 30 years to come, we are gonna be even greater prepared to expand the kingdom. We also want you to know whether Mike likes it or not, we're gonna celebrate him. We're gonna have a little fun and you'll hear more about that. Last, you probably have questions about what's next. Who, where, how, what's the process? Because we've had this chance to dialogue with Mike and walk through this with him over the last few months, it's also allowed us, as you would expect us, to plan, prepare, and pray. And so our church governance actually prescribes pretty readily how we walk through that process. And we invite you, if you have questions, to reach out to your staff, leadership, trustees, and we're happy to talk to you about that. But more importantly now, we wanna celebrate. We wanna praise the Lord for what he's accomplished. And we look forward to the work he's calling us to, to expand his kingdom next.